Hello, my name is Joseph, and tonight we're going to disassemble this vintage stopwatch from probably the uh, early 80s, late 70s or so. I've had this for about a decade, and in that time, this black button has never done what it's supposed to. The screen button, if I click that, it'll start keeping time accurately, as a stopwatch should. Red button will stop it, that's all working fine and dandy, but this black button it just does nothing. It's not connected to anything. Even when it's running, it does nothing. So I'm going to take this apart, figure out what makes it tick, and see if we can get this black button working again. All right, so first things first, I've removed this clear plastic piece here. It was held in place with a little thing here and there. And so if I got a little screwdriver and loosened this, this little metal bracket here, see it right there. As I loosen this, it'll actually move away from the outside and release its hold on some little grooves in here. It'll sort of uh, catch on there. So that's, I, was, I was holding this thing on here. So now this thing is off and you can sort of see that the uh, all the hands are exposed as well as the plate that has all the numbers. So this face is now loose. I had these two really small screws here, they're not actually quite fully round. I'll show you that later. Um, so when you get them to the right orientation, they can actually allow the face to come out. And it's loose, but it's held in place by one thing on the back here, which is the winding little lever. And so now we have our mechanism out of its shell here. So you can sort of see now that um, these three buttons are just some little pins here with a tiny little spring that'll uh, reset them. And they connect with these plates right there. And here's where the black one is supposed to be, but there's nothing there. So you can actually sort of see that there's a little uh, plate for it right there, but there's no flat thing for the button to actually hit. It's just broken off, I suppose. I've now switched to a macro lens, so I can show you the small details more finely here. Um, so this this screw right here it has a flat side to it, so as I turn it, it will uh, allow the, the uh, face to be removed in a certain orientation, this one as well. If I rotate this, you can see how it has that one side sort of ground off. Alright, I'm now going to test the function of the black button physically by using a screwdriver here with a nice blunt tip to activate what it's supposed to do. So if I place this right here and then press it, you can see that all the dials will line up. So if I start it, it's starting from, from zero this time, stop it, go back to where it's supposed to be, and they all line up again. So just to get it right side up, it's all back to zero. And I wanted to use this macro lens here to give you guys a better view of what goes on inside this thing. So as this flywheel goes back and forth, it has this tiny little notch beneath it here that'll move this lever. And that lever has some tiny little posts on it. That'll uh, allow that gear in there to stop or go. And you can actually sort of see the rotation from this uh, little locking pin as it rotates around. It will call it then cause this gear here to obviously have a pretty fixed speed, which then tur turns the, uh, the main hand at its constant rate. All right, so as a last thing, I wanted to sort of test how accurate this thing is. So I'm gonna start these at the same exact time here. It's accurate. This should tick right as the other one says two minutes here. And boom. That one's pretty darn close. This thing is quite accurate. Reassembly step one. We need to cut this back into its casing here. So let me just carefully put it in there. And now we need to turn these two bolts here. Actually, I need to use the smaller one here. And that sort of locks this thing in here so it's not going anywhere. Locked in. 
So now I need to put this back on the winding wheel. There we go. So now it's just back to the main case here. Tighten up these two bolts. And there we go. I'll fix that later, but that's it. This thing is actually pretty nice for uh, such a, you know, old, old piece here, but uh, keeps time just fine.